What is going on guys, Alex here, and this is the Samsung T5, the fastest portable SSD on the market. So let's take a look at it. So SSDs are pretty much going to be the future of portable storage, replacing the mechanical hard drive which you all come to know and love. And pretty much SSDs are going to be the dominant method of storage purely because of the speed that they offer, which is noticeable from the first time you use them. So let's take a look at the T5 and start with what you get in the box. So opening up the box we find the drive itself followed by some paperwork and two cables, one which is a Type-C to Type-C and the other which is a Type-C to Type-A. But personally I find the cables just a little bit too short for my personal usage, which is unfortunate. Taking a look at construction, the T5 is made completely of aluminium which wraps around the sides of the drive and is a single piece construction. Metal is always a good choice for devices that you carry around daily because it just adds a little bit of durability over plastic. The only two places where we see plastic on this drive are the housing for the USB-C connector and the serial number and drive information panels. In terms of size, the T5 comes in at 74mm by 57 smaller than any mechanical hard drive that you could get in a capacity like this, and it's only 10.5mm thick, so it's just slightly over a centimetre. For the colour options on this drive, you have blue for the 250 or 500 gigabyte varieties, or black for the one or two terabyte versions. Overall, the materials used in this drive are nice, it looks sleek and is stylish. So now let's take a look at how the drive works and the performance speeds that we get from it. So first up, having a USB port not only means that you can get super, super fast speeds, but it means you can connect it to Android phones or tablets. But most importantly, this drive is brilliant if you have a MacBook 2016 generation or even the 2015 ultra-thin MacBook with the one USB-C port. Because obviously we all know that Apple only offers small hard drive sizes and you can get the bigger hard drives like a one terabyte SSD, but they are so expensive that getting a portable drive seems to be the only option. And of course, having USB-C also means you get increased speeds over a traditional USB 3, as this is 3.1 generation 2. The main downside to this drive is the fact that 35 gigabytes of your quoted 500 gigabytes when you buy the drive are just not there, so they're obviously used as cache or some type of random access memory inside the drive. Which brings the capacity of the drive when you first use it down to 465 gigabytes, which is honestly just a little bit too small compared to what they're advertising. In terms of technology, the T5 uses VNAND processors, which if you weren't familiar with those, which I wasn't until I did my research, they're actually the same type of storage chips that we see in NVMe SSDs, you know those like really super fast ones, and right now they are the fastest storage type that you can buy as a consumer, so that's awesome. And just for reference, Samsung is quoting that this is 4.9 times faster than a traditional mechanical hard drive, which we will now actually test. So for this test, I'll be using three ports. First of all is a USB Type-A 3.0, second of all is a USB Type-A 3.1, and third of all is a USB-C 3.1 Gen 2, all of which are on the back of my motherboard, so we're going to be using those to test this and a mechanical hard drive to see the difference in speeds over the different connectors, but also between an SSD and a mechanical hard drive. So first up is the USB 3.0 Type-A port on the rear I.O. So using the included USB-C to USB-A cable, the T5 manages to pull 418 megabytes per second write and 414 megabytes per second read, compared to a mechanical hard drive which managed to pull 88 megabytes write and 96 megabyte read. Now just for reference, the mechanical drive that I'm using is a USB 3.0 enclosure with a 2.5 inch 7600 RPM 2 terabyte hard drive inside so that's just for reference so you guys know. Moving on to USB 3.1 type A which is on the rear IO again. The T5 manages to pull 475 megabytes write and 494 read compared to the mechanical hard drive which pulled 116 write and 120 read. And now we're going to take a look at USB-C with the T5. I'm not going to test the mechanical hard drive on these because they're not designed for USB-C and I don't have the relevant cables to connect that hard drive to a USB-C port. So the T5 managed to score 478 write and 494 read, so literally 3 megabytes difference between the Type-A and the Type-C because they're both 3.1 Gen 2, so it's not the connector that matters, the connector doesn't change the speed, it's the speed of the connector which we use, which obviously in a USB 3.1 Generation 2 is going to be the maximum performance that we can get from this drive. And just stacking up the results together, we can clearly see that Samsung's claim for 4.9 times faster speeds is honestly pretty much accurate. So to sum up, the Samsung T5 is honestly a very well-rounded and high-performing SSD, which, if you can cope with that really high price tag, will definitely be a solid performing replacement for any mechanical hard drives. Despite its significant loss of usable data when you first use it, the main attraction is speed and the ability to have a future-proof USB-C connector. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in my next video.